Latinos mean all business. Stay tuned to figure out what that means. Bienvenidos, welcome back to your show, Health, Spice, and Life. I am your show host, Dr. Mario Torres Leon. And today I'm actually really, really passionate about this subject because this is something that is changing here in the United States. It has been changing and it will continue to change. As a matter of fact, according to some data with the U.S. Census, by the year 2050, a third of the American population will be Latino. And right now there are approximately 320 million people who live here in the United States. So that is over 100 million people will be of Latino origin. Why is this important? Well, it is important because more and more Latinos are embarking in the journey of being entrepreneurs. And in fact, there's a business out of Washington, D.C., which is a personal financial business called Wallet Hub. And they recently conducted a study that they were looking for one of the top five cities here in the United States that are really friendly with Latino entrepreneurs. And they actually have 21 indicators that they looked at and they divided that in two different categories. One of them was the Hispanic business friendly indicators. And the other part was the Hispanic purchasing power indicators. And after they looked at all of those things, they came out with a list of five cities that are considered the top five cities out of 150 large cities that were looked at in this study that were considered to be the top ones. And interestingly enough, and not surprising, four out of those five cities are actually located in the state of Texas because there's such a proximity to Mexico and many Latinos, they come into the United States through the border. So the first one is actually the city of Laredo, Texas. And this is an important one because this actually contains the second highest concentration of Latinos of any city in the United States. And it's considered to be a city that is very friendly with entrepreneurs and helping them, supporting them in their journey. The second one, El Paso, Texas, which actually is the number four in the highest concentration of Latinos. And also very friendly with those who are being entrepreneurial and wanting to start their businesses. The only city that came in number three that is not in the state of Texas is actually the city of Pembroke, Florida, which is really close to Miami, and it's very supportive of this kind of Latino that is entrepreneurial. The number four is the city of Corpus Christi in Texas, which is actually very supportive of the entrepreneurs, and it has a body that supports them with particularly those who are into innovation. They have their own innovation center. And lastly, Brownsville, Texas, which is the number three in the highest concentration of Latinos anywhere in the United States. So if you are a Latino and you have that entrepreneurial spirit, those places may be for you. De mi corazón, a tu corazón, I am Dr. Mario Torres Leon saying, a tu salud, let's go get them. See you next time.